What's up guys, Sal here. Well, Apple's gone and done it again. They've moved forward with a smartphone design change or an innovation that they like and the rest of the industry is in me too mode. That's according to the latest research note from KGI Securities analyst Ming Ji Ko. He reports that interest for the tech has at least tripled since the iPhone X unveiling and is expected to outpace under display fingerprint sensor by as much as 3 to 1. This will be mainly due to 3D facial scanners wider compatibility with LCD screens. The under display tech requires the use of OLED panels which are still more costly than LCD and while much of the industry including Apple is beginning to shift towards OLED, LCD is still the tech of choice for the budget market. Kuo also believes Samsung's continual dominance of the high-end OLED PAL market over the next 2-3 to three years will mean shipments of under-display optical fingerprint recognition will remain significantly capped. So of course that said, Samsung is the only mainstream company out there pushing for the in-display fingerprint technology and they've recently patented a pressure-sensitive in-display fingerprint radio. Now, if you're believing the Galaxy S9 is gonna feature that tech, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. If a recent tweet from the Samsung marketing manager is anything to go by, the technology won't be ready by the S9's launch. But what's more promising is the idea that the Galaxy Note 9 will feature this technology instead. The Note 9 will need some way to differentiate itself from the Galaxy S9 and Note phones are often used to trial quirky new technologies before being adopted on the core S-series devices. Anyways, the Galaxy S9's launch is still months away and I'm gonna cover each and every update regarding the device. So subscribe for all the latest coverage and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.